Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today Kabam has posted MCOC Roadmap The Prelude. Uh, essentially it's just a high level information on four upcoming blog posts about the future state of the game. Some really good information. But remember as always if you'd rather read the forum I'll have a link in the description below. Uh, if you want to skip the read aloud just to my thoughts and my first impressions there'll be a timestamp in the description for that. But for those of you who like to listen to me read the forum post for some reason uh, or maybe you're too lazy to read it yourself here we go so summoners we want to thank you all for your patience as we work not only to get a roadmap together but also commit to the changes we want to make to the future of our development roadmap in order to create the best contest of champions possible for all of you click here to read what's coming in the contest prelude this roadmap will be made public in a series of four blog posts Today we're sharing with you a prelude of what to expect. This covers very high level topics and gives you an insight into what is coming. There won't be a lot of information here, but the individual posts covering those topics will dive deeper into each of the topics and more. If you feel that we've missed something, let us know in this thread. It may already be in one of the posts and not called out here. We may still have time to add it to one of these, or it may just not be on the radar at this time. We won't have any answers to any questions regarding details or particulars today, so please hold them for the individual posts that are still to come. Clicking on that link, we jump to Dev Diary. What's coming in the contest? Prelude. Building the best contest. Greeting Summoner, Lead Game Designer, and Captain Sparkle's fanboy, Kabam That Jim here, to introduce a new series of blog posts coming from the MCOC development team that will provide a deep dive into the future of the contest. Over the past few weeks, we've soaked up feedback, angry rants, passionate pleas, and some truly brilliant ideas for the game, some we totally haven't stolen. With so much to sift through, we want to, to make take the time to forge a new path ahead for the contest that covers every major area of the game. Across each area, our goal is to resolve some of your biggest frustrations, inject much needed content, and bring all new ways to play MCOC. This isn't your run of the mill set of blog posts. This is the first step, step in a new phase of MCOC, one that we're incredibly excited for and sets the scene for even greater things to come. There are far too many things for us to squeeze this into one post, and we want to give you time to unpack each one so we'll be releasing parts of every every few days from next week. Let me give you an insight into what to expect from each part to get your spidey senses tingling. Part 1. Quests the 23rd of June. Part 1 is all about the future of the core of MCOC, our, our quest content. On top of the swaths of monthly content and event quests, meta events, and other specialist content, we're committing to a new level of quality, scale, and challenge from the future of quests. Here's a breakdown of what we'll be providing a deep dive on. A new vision. Explore the new direction for core story content in MCOC. Act 6. All the changes coming to Act 6. Bye bye attack values. Hello, fresh champion fight. Book 2, Chapter 1, learn about the new direction, challenge, and gameplay of the latest act. Variant 5, get a teaser of what's to come from Variant 5. Cavalier difficulty, find out more about the rollout of the next difficulty of Event Quest. Rewards boost, bonus rewards for Abyss and beyond. Soundtrack, Book 2 has more than just epic new gameplay, new sounds are coming. Boss rush and more, starving for more, we've got you covered. Join the quest team on June 23rd to learn more. Part 2, Alliances. Uh, that notice will be on 25th of June. A few days later, we come to MCOC's social space, Alliances. After years of iteration and a few new toys to play with, we feel it's time for some bigger challenges to Alliances. In the short term, we'll be bringing many quality of life features to reduce stress and time pressures, but there are some big features in the pipeline too. Here's an overview of what the Alliance team will be diving into. Alliance tools, an all new set of tools including battle group, lane, and defender assignments, war refresh, new narrative, map nodes, defense tactics, tactics, and rewards all coming in Season 19. War Future, brand new vision for the future of Alliance War and the gameplay it may bring. Quest Rebalance, evaluating timers, energy, and no design options to reduce stress. Quest Future, epic new features, gameplay, and competition for the future of Alliance Quest. Help System Improvements, help all? No, it can't be, can it? You bet your ass it is. Stay tuned for June 25th for all of this from the Alliance team. Part 3, Champions, on June 29th, MCOC is all about the awesome roster of champions we have crafted over the past 5 years, but what does the future hold for champions and what do we have planned for champions of the past? In this part, we'll break down our vision for buffs to the aging roster, much needed reworks to classic champions, 
Legends, a tease of two of the most anticipated Marvel characters of all time, and a deep dive into the changes coming to crystals and signature stones. Here's what you can expect from the Champion and Economy team. Future Vision. Learn more about our Champion design and balancing ethos for the future. Buff Roadmap. We're working our way to buffing at least two Champions a month. Find out who and when. Magneto. It's happening. MCOC's Magneto will finally be worthy of his name. Five Star Releases. Always wondered about those missing champions from Five Stars? They're coming. Champion Tees. Learn about future champions entering the contest. Crystal Update. More control and brand new crystals are coming to MCOC. Signature Stones. More abundant and accessible Signature Stones are getting a major revamp. Dual Targets. Fight any champ, any time, and replay those fights. Keep those eyes peeled on June 29th for an epic insight into the future of champions. Part 4. The Future. July 1st. Last but by no means least is a peek into the future of the contest. On top of the myriad of epic new features, content, and rebalancing coming, we have bigger plans to bring new interactions just for fun gameplay progression and greater challenges for you to take on. We've never provided a look behind the curtain like this before. You'll get an insight into the future, into the features in development and ideas that may never see the light of day. It's your chance to help guide the future of the contest. Here's what we'll be diving into. Quality of life, a range of smaller updates coming soon that will make the contest smoother. Arena improvements, better AI, less screens, and a more engaging grind for all to come. Incursions future, what is coming to incursions? Gameplay, buffs, and rewards. Social progression, a brand new social progression system is coming, learn about it here. New gameplay, a tease at some brand new fight gameplay mechanics. New mode, take a look at some of our early mode designs and give your feedback. Content commitment, our contract with you to keep it up and deliver more. This will be the biggest set of reveals in MCOC history, giving you an insight into the future of the contest like never before. But this is just the beginning. It is our mission to keep up our communication, for you to get to know the team, and for us to share the why of the future of the game too. So join us for the first part of the MCOC State of the Game as we endeavor to build the best content. Kabam, that gym, lead game designer. So that said, I'll stick a timestamp here for those of you uh, who want to skip the read aloud. And boy, oh boy, do we have a lot to dive in. So first, full disclaimer, these are like deep dive informations that we can expect over the next couple of weeks. It's really easy to get super, super excited about this, and there's a bunch of stuff I'm like crazy excited for. But remember that these things take times. So even if we're hearing about it, it's likely going to be a couple of months at the very least before we start seeing huge things. Like we already know Variant 5, which is being talked about on June 23rd, isn't coming out until August. So like at the very base expectation, we're like two months away from seeing, you know, stuff. Uh, so just kind of a fair warning there. It's still a good time to maybe take a month or two off. Uh, and then my second thing is like this really does show like these are people. These are people who love the game too. These are people who this game is their career. Arguably that makes this literally their life as much as we make a joke about MCOC being a second job, you know, when you're doing AQ and Alliance War all week. These people, it's literally their job. Um, so there is a vested interest for them to make it an amazing game and have satisfied players and that satisfaction of creating something and having people enjoy it. If you're anyone who's ever made content, I'm sure you can understand the feeling of putting something out there and wanting people to enjoy it, you know? Uh, and these people, they experience that every day. So trust me when I say, like, I, I really understand that they're listening. They, they are fully aware. They're here and they're understanding. Uh, I'm sure they hear all of it. I'm sure maybe not all of it, but damn, a good amount of it. They're paying attention because uh, this is, you know, this is their game baby. So kind of like that out there, it shows they're listening. We are seeing some huge, huge promises here, uh, and that's really, really awesome. So keep your eyes peeled. You know, of course, we'll let actions speak louder, louder than words, but it is good to see this really crazy step here. Uh, it's almost going to feel like we're probably getting essentially, you know, Marvel Concept of Champions 2.0, right? Like if when the game launched, that was 1.0. After patch 12.0, that was 1.5. This is, you know, essentially in the next expansion. So uh, hoping for a lot there. So on June 23rd, we're going to hear about the direction of story content. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. 
Uh, so I'm interested in that. I can't wait to hear these changes to Act 6. Just general nerfs in Act 6 would be really, really nice. I'm really, really hoping it's more than just attack values. Like, I think the biggest thing that people really want to see out of Act 6 is those 6-star gates being by. Uh, like, I don't to have too much of a problem with the class gates. Maybe if they lower them by one so you don't need as many of that specific class. Uh, and then dropping the attack values and then changing the champion fight. Maybe changing Mr. Sinister 2. Not even maybe. That fight really needs to be changed in my opinion. Uh, if they handle like all of that, I think Act 6 is going to be in a relatively good place. Uh, Book 2, Chapter 1, I'm interested to hear about that. No information, so that'll be new. Variant 5, we know is coming in August, so I can't wait to see this teaser. I hope that just gives me the information I need to know on whether or not to rank 2 my 6-star Venom or rank 5 my four, my 5-star Venom because I've been sitting on there itching to rank that guy up. He's just an absolute beast. Uh, Cavalier difficulty, I can't wait for. We know we're getting at least a trial period, a live beta of this next month, uh, so that's going to be super, super fun. I wonder, I can't help but like scratch my head at the rewards boost and wonder if the bonus rewards for Abyss means more bonus rewards than the 6 star Nexus or if the 6 star Nexus was what they meant by this. I don't know. Uh, hopefully that also means uh, increases to Act 6 rewards in general, that would be nice, or maybe like more rewards in the middle of Abyss, like a 60% reward or something, that would be nice. Uh, soundtracks, I would love to change because, wow, the game sounds are uh, they're a little repetitive for a game that's been around as long as Marvel Contest of Champions has. So that's really awesome. And then Boss Rush and more. Uh, I love Boss Rushes. I think everybody loves it. Uh, I don't know what they have here. They're usually pretty surprising or maybe they're announcing like the next community Boss Rush or something. Uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. So we'll have to see. This next up on the 25th of June, we'll hear about alliances. This alliance tools, this just comes down to how they implement them. If it ends up being more taxing than it is helpful, uh, that's going to suck. But I think in general, as long as they make it so it carries over from every war to the next war, and so you don't have to like change it every time, you just set it up once and you're done, it's going to be really, really, really helpful. Uh, war refresh, this is not the first time we've seen a war refresh, uh, so I'll wait on the specifics here before I get any kind of hype because like yeah yeah the last time they refreshed the war definitely got worse so uh i'll keep my eye out on that and hopefully see how it goes quest rebalance i really really like this for alliance quest um because it says specifically that they're evaluating the timers energy and node design uh so that's really really hopeful for me i don't have too too much of an issue with the node design for the most part there's like a handful of nodes here or there but more so the problem is less the node and the champion they put on the nodes uh like a lot of times the champion on the node kind of counteracts the node or adds an extra layer of niche utility you need um it just seems really really counterproductive so if they do less of that overall i think they're gonna be fine except for like can't stop won't stop that no, it's just total BS. Uh, next up is Quest Future. Uh, so just changes there. And then Help System Improvements. I love that. I love, 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 love that. Can't wait. That's super simple. But man, that's like, honestly, out of everything here, that's like one of my biggest highlights. Because that's just such a huge quality of life change. I can't wait. On the 29th of June, we're going to hear about Future Visions. I love the concept that they're buffing two champions a month at least. Uh, so that's going to be really, really awesome. I can't wait to hear what that's about. I don't even need this to be reworks. Like, I feel like a lot of people, they ask for reworks. I don't even need a rework, man. I just need, like, decent damage numbers. Just make it so I can use these champions earlier on. Like, so many champions, like, have, like, semi-relevant utility that you could rank them up just for giggles. But their damage is so bad that you just can't satisfyingly use them you know like kamala khan is legitimately an answer to mr sinister except like her damage is like so far off from the other counters to mr sinister that it feels bad because of the quantity of skill uh and revives it takes to make up for the difference in damage so you know just small things i love that magneto is getting this a buff this is a huge one in the game i know so many people have asked about it i personally am like eh i never really felt like it needed but maybe uh this means magneto is the other champion that's getting buffed in uh you know cohesion or uh 
at the same time as Hulkbuster. Maybe that's what's happening there. I'd like to see. Five-star releases, that's neat, but I'm not too psyched about it. I know other people will be. You know, Scarlet Witch is the first one that everybody talks about here. I know a lot of people would be super hyped about that, but for me, uh, not too big of a deal, but that's definitely a highlight if it's something that matters to you. Champion Tease, uh, that never bothers me, but I know that's going to hype up a lot of people. The Crystal Update, more control and brand new crystals are coming to MCOC. I don't know what this means. I personally would like to see them start segregating the five-star crystals um, I think we're at a point where there's enough champions in the game that we as players should be able to be able to draw from a limited pool even if it's on a rotation even if like it changes once a week like one week it's these three classes and then the next week it's these three classes you know just reducing the pool size I think would be really really good for the player base uh, just because eventually the pool gets so big you don't really feel like you're pulling uh, from a really fair pool, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're fishing for a specific champion. I'm not quite sure what they can do to signature stones to make them act differently. Uh, more abundant and accessible is awesome, but I don't know what that means to getting a major revamp. Unless that means like they're just going to turn all singular six stones into plus fives or something. Either way, I do like seeing signature stones more abundant and accessible, but that really comes down to quantity of numbers. Dual targets is a huge, huge update. I don't see anything about adding node interactions here, which is something people really really wanted at the very least being able to add like stun immune because that that's most frustrating node on an alliance war boss uh besides the alliance war uh, defense tactics so hopefully that comes soon as well but that might just be a complexity in development more than anything else and then finally the last one on july 1st we have quality of life changes i can't wait for this arena improvement that's amazing i really 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 hope that i push that one first but i get the feeling that one's probably like six months away I just, just like something in my gut says arena improvements, yeah, this is probably pretty low on the list. Like, I would fully expect incursions, new gameplay, and a new mode all to come before arena improvements, despite the order it is on this list. Uh, you know, and I, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm just saying, like, if, if I had to make a guess, that's that's the order I would put them in. But these all look really, really great. I would love to see six-star shards and incursions. I think the gameplay itself is, like, relatively okay. As long as they can fix the rewards, maybe make the buffs a little more choosy or consistent to your roster, so you're not just picking buffs that just absolutely suck. Maybe give you a little bit more selectivity, uh, so, like, you can change your roster out without it feeling as bad. Just some nice little quality of life changes. Incursions, I don't don't want to like criticize too harshly because it's a new game mode uh and they openly said that they were willing to edit it over time so that's just something you know they need to play around with and balance to themselves uh and hopefully that gets to the point that i would like to be at you know in the future I'm not quite sure what they knew by new, mean by new fight gameplay mechanics, uh, but this is definitely something we need in the game. Uh, just because like the less fight gameplay mechanics are in the game, the tougher it is to develop new characters, new champions into the contest uh, that feel unique and different and provide different ways of providing value. Because uh, like there's just only so many times you can put heavy, you know, ending on a basic, ending on a medium, special one, special two. Like there's just only a finite amount of functions in the game uh and until you find like really really clever ways to add extra value in the game uh you know it's it's tough to make characters feel unique you know if eventually you just have five champions all applying armor break on block you know uh, and that's not there yet i'm just saying like eventually you know the redundancy kicks in so i really like seeing this one i think this is going to be really huge uh as far as the development of the game in the long run because uh, finding clever new ways to add gameplay mechanics to the game is really really awesome uh i think storm pyramid x is a really good example of they introduced a way for her to get a prowess buff based on throwing your heavy mid or special mid heavy so so they used, uh, they took advantage of uh, animation canceling to apply a skill. And I'm 100% confident we're going to get more of that later on. I just think it's really cool that they use that cleverer interaction in order to apply a gameplay mechanic that other players might not have fully used or taken advantage of. Yes, other champions did it. You know, you've got Captain America Infinity War who did parry heavy special to take advantage of the Fury. But he didn't get anything additional for doing that, you know? It's not like the Fury triggered because he threw his heavy mid uh his special mid heavy uh so yeah i'd just like to see more of that i'd actually like to see more uh things like uh if you double medium you get something or you triple light and you don't end on a light finisher you just 
standard triple light. More of that, I think, would be really cool. More stance dancing, I think, would be really cool. Ronin had a lot of potential. Uh, I felt like they didn't capitalize on on that gameplay mechanic, that play style. Um, and if they had, I think that would be a good way to lead towards a lot of other things. So I really, really want to emphasize the new gameplay. I think that's super awesome. I'm not sure what this new mode is, but when they say add some of our early mode designs, I can tell you it's probably far away. Like if Incursions took eight months to, to get launched, I think they said eight months. Um, I imagine this next new game mode is probably a year away, but hey, it's nice to see. Uh, and then I love, you know, all of this fluff. All this fluff makes me feel good and I absolutely love it. It's fluff, but I love it. I love every second of it. I love the reality of them talking about uh, us seeing and, and, and realizing their people, their contract and their commitment, all their desire to communicate and work with us. I love hearing all of that. So that said, that's the future of the game. Uh, those are my thoughts. Tell me yours. Maybe there's something I missed. Maybe something you think uh, is more important that I didn't really highlight. Feel free to share. Uh, let's talk because uh, we got a lot coming. I'll be back with uh, posts on all of these days talking about uh, whatever they post on the 23rd, the 25th, the 29th, and July 1st. You can bet I'll have my two cents in. Uh, that said, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.